Flashbacks made me wish I had you back. Uh, back, track. You got that fire, and I'm not a liar. Yes, I eat a flesh, you know the rest. I wake up and I fuck on the bad bitch. Before the video even begins, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Especially if you are new here, make sure you guys subscribe to me. Like this video, comment down below. I want to interact with you guys, so yeah. Comment down below, like this video, subscribe to me. Welcome back to my channel if you already subscribed to me. And yeah, let's get into the video. Alright, what's up guys? This is the video. This is an update on my journal. Now, let me copy you guys up. Okay, in the first video where I talk about my journal and what I write in here. It's good for my mental health. And I suggest it to people. Like, everybody got their own, like, opinions on what they feel like helps them. But I feel like you guys should start journaling, too. I do not do this every day. I just do it when I feel like I need to do it. So, you know, when I write down, it could be me singing, whatever it is. It goes down in here. I write it down in a journal. Now, I reflect to gives me goosebumps <laughs> to go back into that mindset of like I can tap into my mindset of why I was thinking that way. What was I thinking? So, Ooh, I want to read this. Now, I'm letting you guys into a very, very personal, personal part. Yes. So. Alright. I'm going to do it. I'll read it to you guys just because it's not that personal it was just like a little poem that I wrote and like whenever I'm feeling whatever type of way I'm feeling I just write whether it's a poem or me just talking I write it down whatever it is that's going through my head I write it down a lot has been going through my head lately and I have not been writing so I'm always on TikTok though, and I ran across a TikTok video that reminded me, oh, bitch, I need to get back to my writing. It's like I go out, I be so good, and then, you know. Anyways. So I'm gonna read you guys this bowl. Let me drink some water. Get ready. I wrote this like months ago, but anyways. And I do not write a date on things. I don't do that. Anyways. Excuse me. Ready? Okay. Alright. Love is selfless. Love transforms. When you feel like everything and everyone is against you, love reminds. Love. The feeling that uplifts when everything inside of you feels dead. Reviving. Just when you thought that love wasn't for you. We won't admit it, but love is needed to keep the dark parts of us silenced.
Love in the very darkest moments makes you rethink whether making that decision is worth it. Love, whether it's a memory or existing, it's living, never dies when it's true. Love breaks people. That same love also rebuilds people. Love bring you back to the times you can no longer physically go back to. Love makes you insane. Love makes your heart skip a beat. What the other one is mean. Love brings you joy and pain. Love can make you feel whole and complete and can make you feel alone and abandoned. Love drives people to insane measures and also discourages bad intentions. Out of love motivates many of us. And because of love, the search for comfort almost as equal to it is never ending. Love never dies. You can lose the one you love. Love will continue to exist. Love forgives. When my broken heart has nothing to beat for, love still forgives. Struggling every day to find what is my purpose and telling myself over and over again what it is. Every day gets harder as I, myself, struggle to dig myself out of a hole I put myself in. Regaining and losing my focus as I try to align myself with a routine that works for me. God, I know you are looking down on me and questioning when will I make a permanent change for what I do now isn't setting me up for anything better. See, that's what I'm saying. This is a reflection. Because where I am now is not where I was then. Because I'm doing better. I'm getting things done. Still got things to work on, of course, but I was, I'm not here. I'm past that. Thank you. But a little emotional. You don't gotta have tears to be emotional. Yeah, these other stuff I'm not reading because that's personal. Anyways, that was weird. Hopefully I encourage one of you guys to start writing. It doesn't have to be daily. Just write whenever you feel weird. And for a lot of you guys, maybe that's every day or random times throughout the day. But see, when I was in college, I mean, I still am in college, what am I saying? When, when we were physically going to school, like physically going to the college, it was a lot of times it was happening throughout the day, though. Like, I would, it would happen towards the ending of the day, though, where I would feel down a lot. And I'd just write. And maybe I'd start in, off in the morning, write a little. Like, it happened a lot of times during school, but, you know. It still happens now, but not as much, but... During school, it would happen frequently. And I just write because I'm always thinking. So, yeah. This write is good to reflect and see where you was now and be like, okay, I'm, I, I'm not there no more. You know, it's like a self-accomplishment self type thing. Sorry guys for speaking low, I just don't want to speak loud. This is uncomfortable, but I'm going to still post this video. Because it's not like I said anything like... I'm going to regret nothing was personal in this.